Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. What we have here are Automower Connect Boards. And I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible to explain what's going on here and try to put a lot of the uh, questions to rest and make everything easier on you guys at home. So pay attention here because I'm probably going to repeat myself several times and it might get a little confusing, but hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. We'll start with this. This is the original style connect board. The original ones were 2G. They only worked on a 2G network. The upgrade was this one. And the old ones looked like this. They had a white SIM card in there. Um, but yeah, this was the upgrade to the regular 2G. And you could tell that on the back, even though they looked identical. If you looked at the label, it would tell you that it was a 2G slash 3G board, meaning that it could work on the 3G network. So when the 2G went away, hey, we're still good. Now, the other thing to notice on this label, HSPA GSM slash EGP RS module. Of course, this does have your GPS module on there because this does your, your GPS tracking or anything. But GSM, that was the type of network that these, um, these boards would work on. So here in the United States, the most common one that we would see come up as a carrier and you're saying, well, how do you know what the carrier is? Well, on your menu, if you haven't seen the video already, I'm going to give away this little secret here. On your miller's menu, if you hold down the zero button, go into the quick info menu, and you scroll all the way down to Automower Connect, you can bring up all your information about your Automower Connect feature. And you can scroll down on there, and you can see um, who the carrier was. And normally, we would see AT&T. Now, you're saying, well... In my area, AT&T is not that prevalent, but Verizon really is. Well, there's a reason why you wouldn't see Verizon listed, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. So that's the main stuff you need to know about the, the original style boards so far. Now we move on to this board, which is a 4G board. This is what is replacing this one. And the reason why this is replacing this is because the 3G networks are getting ready to be turned off, just like the 2G networks were, and... Same thing when they had to replace the original 2G boards with the 3G. They're doing it now with 4G. These came out as an option in 2020. As they were running out of these boards as as replacements, you know, you would order an Automower Connect kit, which would come in the fancy box and had the ribbon cable and the board and all that stuff. This is what you would get. As they ran out of them with the 3G board, these were superseded in and we've all lived happily ever after right right so the big thing with these are that this as you can see right here operates on an lte network gsm and e gprs module but that lte that's the important part so when everybody says well how do i know what board my mower's got in it? how do i know well if you tear it apart obviously you're gonna be able to tell by the size or if you go into the quick info menu and you get down to Automower Connect and you scroll down in the Automower Connect section to see who the carrier is and Verizon pops up, hey, congratulations, you've got a 4G board in your mower. Uh, if it says AT&T, who knows? Because it could be one of these or it could be one of these. Chances are if it says AT&T, it's probably going to be one of these. Why do I say that? Because despite what you might read on social media and despite what you might hear from certain dealers, there is not a way to tell by serial number what you have. Well, technically, um, there, there's not from what they're saying. Uh, a lot of dealers will say, hey, if you've got a mower that starts with, or the mower starts, the mower serial number, sorry, the serial number starts with 18, 19, or 20, or 21, then you're good to go. You have one of these in there. No, you just heard me say that this was not an option until 2020. So your 2019 serial numbered mower does not have this in it. Uh, this, this board right here came out of a 315X with a 2020 serial number in it. And you're like, well, wait a minute. These were available as a replacement in 2020. Well, they weren't available as a replacement until the spring of 2020. And these were coming in the 115Hs that came from the factory with Automower Connect. They were also coming in the all-wheel drives, but everything else back then was coming with these because these were still available. Remember I said that they were, they were selling these as a replacement until they ran out of them in 2020 and then it started being swapped over to this one. This 
this here was being put in those 2020 mowers because they were built in 2019. So uh, if, if you don't take your mower apart and you don't see the smaller board in there or you don't see Verizon pop up as the carrier, there's a good chance, and I say a good chance, it's a really, really strong chance that this is what's in your mower. You can ask your dealer. I mean, if you've had your automotive connect board replaced recently, you can ask your dealer what he put in there, and, and maybe he can tell you. You know, the part number for the 4G kit, if they would use the 4G board, is uh, is right here. Uh, 58666231. So if they use that part number, then you got a 4G board. Um, other than that, you really just have to tear the, the mower open to see what's in there. So, uh, the other thing to remember is you can't, I mean, you can physically install this yourself, but it's not going to work until the mower software is updated, which can only be done by a dealer. Dealer cannot give out the auto check program because it's linked to everything to do with their Husqvarna account. So do not ask your dealer where you can buy it at or how to get it, or if he can slip you a copy of it because there's no way to do that. So that's going to do it uh, for here on our information here really quick about the uh, Automotive Connect boards. Uh, if you need more information or want to know a little bit more, you got some questions, send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. If you're looking for an automower or parts or accessories for your automower or anything to do with an automower, you know, tech support, all that stuff, check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you don't see what you're looking for on there, you can't find it. Send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. That's going to do it for this video here. Hopefully I was able to help you guys with this and you know a little bit more now about what the difference is between these boards and what to look for. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.